federal government finally revealed the reason why Buari has not visited his hometown since 2019. Muhammad Buhari was born to a Fulani family on 17th December 1942 in Daura Katsina State to his father Malam Hado Adamu, a Fulani chieftain and his mother July Hart. He is the 23rd child of his father. Muhammad Buhari is a Nigerian politician who has been president of Nigeria since 2015. Buhari is a retired major general of the Nigerian army and served as military head of state from 1983 to 1985. According to reports, President Buhari has not visited his hometown since after his last visit on December 2019. Many rumors were circulating in Nigeria that he is afraid of going to his hometown because of fear of being killed because he has failed them. However, these claims are false. The federal government has so far cleared the air about his reason for not visiting his hometown for a very long time. Earlier, on 11th November, the federal government of Nigeria took to their official verified Twitter page to announce that President Mohamed Buhari went to visit his hometown Daura and he will be there for a week. The federal government of Nigeria also used the opportunity to debunk the rumor. They further disclosed the reason why President Buhari has not visited his hometown since after his last visit on December 2019. After Nigerian government, he haven't visited his hometown since December 2019 because of COVID-19 outbreak. In their words, they said, the president last visit in his hometown in December 2019, having stayed away largely due to the global COVID-19 situation. Thank you for listening to this news. Oh, it is a lie. <laughs> it is a lie I tell you it's a big lie it's a very big lie they should stop deceiving themselves all this why because of COVID-19 even as a president because of COVID-19 what about after the COVID-19 uncle hmm? doesn't he have um people is supposed to yeah to pay to visit he doesn't please see let's call the spade the spade and tell ourselves the truth he knows why he's running he knows he has filled the people you you came out you came from katsina and your people have been attacked your people your own people sleep with their two eyes widely open your own people left their own hometown to Katsin, to, to Kaduna, your own people, the people that gave you their vote, that supported you, that stood by you and said, if it is not worry, it could be no other person. You turn your back on them and now you are, oh, see, I, I think being God gave man the opportunity to see the heart of the other man. Eh? I'm telling you, I don't, <laughs> things, things would have gotten spoiled. So God is so intelligent enough that he made it so difficult and hard for man to see the heart of the other man. I'm telling you, because we human beings, we are very, very heartless. We are heartless, we are greedy, and we are wicked. We are self-centered. I know, I know the numerous promises the president may have made to his people. He may have made a lot of promises. A lot of promises that he has not even been able to keep only one, which is bad. Which is bad. It's just like 
a mother giving birth to a child and the child, after taking care of the child, the child has to forget about the mother and not even bothered about taking care of, care of the mother. That is how the issue of President Mulberry is and the people of Castina. Mm -hmm. Don't you know? That is how their issue is. The president has failed his people. He has failed them. And the people will never forget this in, in their lifetime. They will never forget it. They will never forget this that the president has done to them. Permit me to use um, Raji Fashola as an example. Uh, when he was the governor of Lagos State, Raji Fashola, um, do while carrying out his duties in the state, you know, he did more of um, construction for Nigeria, for the, for, the, for the state. You know, do Raji Fashola paid attention to the other areas first. He did that well. Then, at last, at last, he started paying attention to his own, to his own, um, his own uh, state, his own um, area. Probably that that is at last. Do you understand now? Not that he did not pay. He, he paid attention to, to his own community, his own area. He did not abandon his area. What am I trying to drag out? You have to still remember where you grew up from. You have to remember where you grew up from, no matter what. No matter what, no matter the situation, you must remember where you grew up. Do you understand now? Because if you don't, if you don't remember where you grew up from, I'm afraid. I'm very, very afraid that <laughs> you can you can be able to visit that place again, and that is what is happening to the president Mohamed Buhari as we speak now. Yes, you can't. You can't be able to. <laughs> So that, that uh, he's, he's visiting there to, to stay for one week. All those things. Now story, story. Now story, story. So please, my viewers, um, you two, your your own idea and comments are very very important. Do me free to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.